welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you two different recipes how you can do crunchy granola without adding any sugar in there except for the natural sugar that is in the banana and the dates. But other than that it's nothing added to it and it's super crunchy, it's super tasty and it's super easy to do so you don't have to spend your bucks to buy the very expensive granolas out there that are no sugar granolas or even the ones that are with sugar. This one is gonna be much more tasty for you, I promise you that. So both of them are gonna be banana granola but the end taste is not banana. But we are using the banana to sweeten up the granola a little bit but to also make it more crunchy. So I'm doing two different batches. One is gonna be a little lower in carb. I'm not gonna say that this is a low carb granola because it still contains dates and banana. But we're not gonna use any oats or anything to the base. So the base is basically gonna be, the base is basically, that's funny, right? <laughs> My kind of humor. Uh, it's gonna be nuts and seeds and some dates. So that is one way of granola and that is actually my favorite, it's super crunchy, super yummy. The other one is more traditional granola and it's with oats and uh, just plain oats and flavors and crunchiness and then I'm gonna add in some raisins, so just like an oat and raisin granola. And you can just store them in an airtight container and you will have the granola for the week or for the month or depending on how much granola you're eating. In my house the granola doesn't last more than a few days, one week if I'm lucky. If you do like this video and if you do like granola, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. So without further ado, let's jump right into this recipe. 